numbers. Zero times, the zeros, the nothing. Reciting the zeros is all about repetition. Zero is persuasive. Zero is full of ego. Throw in a goddamn zero, and the other number becomes a zero. Every time. I swear it to you, this is not bullshit. No matter how old you are, you will eventually be a zero. It doesn't matter what the other number is, how proud or how big or how small. Go up against a zero, and you become a zero. Every time. I swear it to you, this is not bullshit. One times. One times one is, my, is itself. One does not project itself onto other numbers, like zero. It is egoless. It is non-persuasive. Put one up against another, and it becomes the other number. One times myself is always myself. One times dad is always dad. One is how we begin to be something other than zero. One is always longing to be something more than one. We will continue becoming more than one until we hit zero. <laughs> Two times, dad me lying on the bed in a guest bedroom in my house, which is a house where he no longer lives, staring at the ceiling and doing times tables while I think about dinosaurs. Let's do twos, he says. Can we read the dinosaur book, I say? Let's do all of them, through the nines, he says, then the dinosaur book. Dinosaurs lived 200 million years ago, I say. Yes, he says. Is that older than you? Yes, he says, that is older than me. How old are you, I say? I am 33 years, he says. Three times. The crowded three. My dad, my stepmom, and me. Summer vacations, word games on road trips in a minivan. The triad, wrong. The flatted third, the minor chord. I believe in threes. I believe in repetitions of three. A fun game would be to find three different uses for the word van. We already have one minivan. We only need two more. Four times. My stepbrother made our three into a four. He was born in 1984, which is divisible by four, and which is 11 years after the year I was born. 1984 is the year that makes me think of Van Halen, and checkered bandanas, and Van sneakers. I got two more. <laughs> every four is made up of a two, but not every two is made up of a four. Fourteen is not made up of a four, even though there is a four in the number. Four is nice and round and comfortable. Four doesn't seem hungry, and four doesn't want for friends. Among other things, four makes a good placement at the dinner table. Four-day weekends at Dad's were way better than two. More catfish caught on chilly Dallas mornings at Lake Ray Hubbard. More Pac-Man at quarter arcades. More trips to the video store for VHS rentals. Day one of four seemed like such a long time. Five times. <clears throat> when you recite the fives, you really only need to remember two numbers. Five and zero. Also, every other five is even, and every other five is odd. Aging is best observed in five-year increments. For instance, school reunions are best kept five years apart. I am eight times five, which is also divisible by four and two. When I was one times five, dad moved to a different city. Dad and mom were married two times five years. The first five, which may have been the best, were without me. <laughs> the last five, the last five, the last five. Six times. I used to count the days by six packs of 7.5% pale ale. <laughs> if you buy two six packs at one time, then you have more ways to divide the days before you need to return to the beer store. <laughs> One each day for 12 days is the hardest to maintain, but the most responsible. Two each day for six is optimistic. Three gets you four days, and four gets you three, and six will get you two nights. Pass that on the couch. Twelve only gets you one of those, but costs you an additional one in recovery, so it's like a double whammy. Seven times. 
seven times. Reciting the sevens was easy because I knew about football scores. <laughs> I knew the 14 and the 21 and the 35 and the 42. I'd seen a few 49s, but not a 56 or a 63. The 70 and the 77 were virtually unheard of, and the 84 was just crazy talk. <laughs> Every other weekend, I flew in a 737 between Houston and Dallas. When Dad drove me to Love Field to fly home to Mom, we listen to Sunday football. Sunday is the seventh day. My favorite player was John Elway, who wore seven. On January 11th, today, 1987, 27 years ago, Dad and I sat in the airport parking garage together listening as John Elway executed a series of plays known today as The Drive. We'd do that when a game was really exciting. Just sit in the car with the radio on, listening to the score until we absolutely had to go inside. I never wanted to go inside. Eight times. My dad says 80 is the age. It is the age for all of us, he says. The men with our last name, we only go to 80. Then we throw a zero. 80 is eight times 10 or 16 times five. If you graduate high school at 18, 80 would get you roughly 12 five-year reunions. Great-grandpa Julio was 80 in seven months. Pop-Pop was 80 in five months, just like his brother Frank. Great-uncle Joe, who was terrified by the 8-0, actually saw 81 for 10 days or two fives. Dad, who is now 66 and good with numbers, has had cancer twice. 66 is twice 33 and still not as old as dinosaurs. It is about eight times a five-year high school reunion. It is two touchdowns and two point afters away from 80. Two months ago, I became halfway to 80. Go up against a zero and you become a zero. Every time. I swear it to you, this is not bullshit. Thank <laughs> you.